Chives is up the inside, together with Carberry Cross and Jean Jambre. Iris Blur there as well. And they're off. He's let him go for the Martel Cognac Grand National. And uh, Balling Clay King was slowly away together with Marjed and also Red Striker slowly away. Bramble Hill Duke, one of the first ones to show. Also, there is Monty's Pass together with this one. Wonder Weasel, Iris Blur, very prominent early as well. So too is Maximize and the Bunny Boiler. Monty Foe and Tremolt out very wide has got Royal Predica in behind him as they cross the Melling Road. They head to the first fence and Richard Hoyles takes them into the country. So the first where there was so much drama last year is let over by Tremolt. And at the first, the bunny boiler is a faller. The bunny boiler may be the only casualty at the first. Certainly not the grief of last year as Tremort leads Montefo towards fence number two. Tremort leading then from Montefo. Once again, the field, the majority of them are all over safely. The one exception is Bramble Hill Duke, who's gone at the second. So Bramble Hill Duke down at the second. Tremort leads Montefo and blowing wind. Up there early, maximize. And uh, we've also got the Wonder Weasel down at the third. Wonder Weasel has gone at the third, but only three down, I think think so far as they head on towards the fourth. Tremolt is in front from on the outside, blowing wind, a bad mistake on the outside by Red Arc. The stragglers over it, Yora Goodens towards the tail. Bindari is quite well back. Kalusti is well back. Chives is going up the inside and Maximize is handy. One before Beecher's number five, back to John Hunt. And Tremolt jumping well, not usually his forte. He's the leader as they stream over the next fence and all seem to take that one safely enough. Bindari well down the field as they head towards Beecher's Brook. So it's Tremolt, one of the big outsiders leading them here. From blowing wind, Tord up Express. The giant Berejan is round the outside. Round the inner goes Montifo. Monty's pass and maximize as well as they head over Beechers. Carberry Cross made a bad mistake. He was down on his nose, but he survives as they now come out of Beechers. And one who went there was Fidalco. Fidalco out the side door. Now Foynaven. Tremolt joined by Montifo towards the inside. The smallest fence on the course. Most of the leaders take it well. Tored off Express, a slight mistake. Well down the field as they now head towards the canal turn and racing towards it. Many, many chances. Montifo and Tremolt, the leaders here. From in behind, blowing wind. Also well there, jumping up his chives towards the inner. He jumped pretty well. There was a bad mistake from Burlew further behind the field at the canal turn, but they now head on towards Valentine's Brook for the first time. And Tremolt leads them over it from Montifo. Maximize going up the inside as they all stream over Valentine's towards the back of the field. Bindari made a very bad mistake early on. He's struggling. Marjed is well back as well as Tremolt leads them over the next. Tremolt with Montifo. A bad mistake by Iris Blur in midfield there. Cost him ground towards the back of the field. Marjed is still toiling. Also well back is Good Schul as they race on towards the next, which is another ditch. And it's Montifo and Tremolt who leave the field over it. The majority of the runners are all still standing been very little grief. Yora Gooden made a bad mistake back through the field and at the back of the field a very errant jump as well and uh, pulled up towards the back. I think he's Chives. I think Chives is out of the race as they take the next. It's Tremolt who's in front. Tremolt who shows the way from in second on the inside. Monty Foe. They're being tracked through in third as they continue their progress by Berejan who's racing pretty handily. Blowing wind is just behind the leaders. Caterino still standing as well. Up there maximized towards the inside of Blowing Wind. Gunnar Welburn going up the inside side as well is quite handy in sixth or seventh gin John, but just behind the leaders royal predica is creeping closer red striker Kalasti shotgun willie's still there two-thirds of the way back through the field bindari is still towards the tail as they make their way back towards the race course proper and i'm afraid there'll be no fairy tale for you'll never walk alone he's out of the contest pulled up at the contest as they now head back towards the race course proper and race now down towards the next two plane fences before the mighty chair which will be the 15th gunner wellburn on the inside Jump very well there from Monty Foe. All the leaders safely over that. Balling Clay King well down the field. Good Shul is losing touch. Bindari and Marjed are right at the back of the field together with Burlu as they head on now towards the one fence before the chair. And it's Gunnar Wellburn over there safely enough. Gunnar Wellburn, he's been jumping well. There are plenty still going in the national, approaching halfway. Gunnar Wellburn from Monty Foe. Tored up Express going very strongly indeed. Tremont still hanging on in there as they come now down towards the chair. Tremont towards the outside. Monty's pass towards the inner, and there, slow into that, was Gunnar Wellburn. Iris Blur made a slight mistake. Caterino's gone at the chair. Caterino and Mick Fitzgerald is out of it as they come towards the water. Monty Foe, the leader from Tord Off Express. Monty's pass. The leader had a good look at that. In behind these, Tremont, Carberry Cross, Gunnar Wellburn, Jean Jambre, well in touch with Royal Predica. Berejan getting a reminder. Craig House next, then blowing wind. Behind these, Maximize. Kilusty still going well in the middle of the field. Also, the 
red cap of Goganart. Amberley House still going. You're a good and Shotgun Willie two thirds of the way down the field. Followed then by Southern Star. Ad hoc further back. Then Jeddah. After Jeddah, we've got Robbo. Then Bindery. And then after Bindery comes Red Striker. Supreme Glory up on the outside as they cross the Melling Road. The back markers, they include Burlu, Ompero River. Also Marjed tailing off together with Good Shul as they race now over towards the next fence and Richard Hoyles. Setting out on their final circuit then and Tordup Express lands over the next fence in front. Stragglers, Burlu's well back through the field. Marjed's continuing but tailed off Good Shul. And at the back of the field, uh, Ompero River is also tailed off. So they approach the second of this line of six. Tordup Express with Monty's Pass going well. Gunner Wellburn comes next and Monty Foe. They're the front four from Carberry Cross. Jin is just behind the pace in five. Royal Predicas going well. Amberley House is in seventh place. Berejan as they take the big ditch. Jumped it well in eighth. A mistake by Jean Jambra. And we've lost a few here. Ad hoc's down. Maximize down. Robbo is also down. And also Gognar. So four have gone at the ditch as Gunnar Welburn leads them over the next. It's Gunnar Welburn who shows the way from Tordup Express. Monty's Pass has travelled well from in fourth place Monty Foe. Then comes Tremalt who's dropping back through the field passed by Amberley House. Royal Predica goes well. Red Striker getting on the premises as well and also making ground as they take the next in about seventh or eighth Supreme Prince from Craig House on towards Beaches for the final time. Ballin Clay King was pulled up and Iris Blur also pulled up in the National. Good Shul is another one that's been pulled up. Down towards Beaches second time Gunnar Wellburn from Monty's Pass toward off Express in behind them. Amberley House will take it in fourth place. Monty Faux pecked on landing and kilosti has gone at Beecher's Brook. Kilosti is out of it. Bindery made a bad mistake as well. Further back, Baloo has gone as well as they head now to Foynhaven. Gunnar Welburn, Monty's pass, Monty Faux. They're the three leaders from Amberley House as they all take Foynhaven safely, these leaders. Uh, over it, very tired was Jin Jambra. Doesn't look like he's going to be winning. Red Arc just about the last one standing over Foynhaven as they cut now the canal turn for the final time. And it's Gunnar Welburn from Monty's pass. Monty Foe and Amberley House. These four have established a good clear lead now. They must be eight or ten lengths clear of anything else. Here's Valentine's for the final time. And this little quartet have got away. Gunnar Wellburn leading Monty's pass. Amberley House and Monty Foe. They're ten lengths clear from Carberry Cross. Supreme Glory. A bad mistake. Tored up Express. I think the saddle slipped. The jockey's right on one side there and may have to be pulled up as the leader Gunnar Wellburn takes the next. Gunnar Wellburn not too tidy. Still in front from Monty's pass. Monty Foe is uh, still there. Supreme Glory making ground. Tored up Express and Tremalt is also still going as they race on towards the next which is the last ditch four from home Gunnar Welburn but Monty's pass is right alongside now half a length between the two four lengths to Amberley House in third three lengths to the end in fourth place Monty Foe 15 to Supreme Glory three to Tremalt Bindery from a long way back is running on has moved into about seventh or eighth place with still there Tordup up Express and also still going I think blowing wind but a long way back with Carberry Cross as Gunnar Welburn and Monty's pass begin to travel very strongly with Amberley House and this three of five lengths clear from Monty Foe, who in turn is clear of Supreme Glory in fifth. Tremalt leads the stragglers home as Gunnar Welburn and Monty's pass race towards two out in the Martel Cognac Grand National. Tored up Express and uh, Mantles Prince were also out. Red Striker was a faller about five from home as well, but they've got very well strung out here. Carberry Cross looks to be struggling now, but they begin this long run towards the second last in the National and it's Gunnar Welburn who shows the lead here. Barry Fenton, but he's joined now by Monty's pass and Barry gets these two are stride for stride. Right in behind them is Amberley House approaching two out now. Amberley House with every chance for Ginger McCain. That was two out. Monty's pass jumped to the lead there. He's being pressed by Amberley House and Gunnar Welburn who's in a brick wall. Then a gap back to Monty Foe and then Supreme Glory. And after these a huge gap to Bindery. Here's the last. Monty's pass. The leader in the national. He touches down with a four length advantage. Amberley House is in second place. Then Gunnar Welburn. Supreme Glory still running on as they head now towards the elbow in the National. Monty's pass being chased all the time by Amberley House. Supreme Glory's run on manfully into third place, then Gunnar Welburn and Monty Foe and Bindery sixth, but it's Monty's pass. He's got 150 yards left to last home here. Barry Garrity in their saddle. He's had such a sensational winter, and now it's capped with victory in the Martel. Cognac Grand National. Monty's pass is the winner. Supreme Glory running on heroically for second place. Amberley House run a fantastic Fantastic race for Ginger McCain to finish third.